Hi, my name is Sandro with Galfer. And I'm Aaron, and today we're here to, uh, talking to you about stainless steel braided lines. And now what is a brake line? Uh, a lot of people ask us why do we want to replace our stock rubber hoses with a stainless braided line. Reason for that is, one, over time and through different uh, heat cycles, the rubber in those stock brake lines is going to break down. So what we want you to do is replace it with a stainless braided hose, um, and what that's going to do is going to reduce the amount of expansion that you have in a brake line. So you won't have that mushy lever or um, you know just, just bad brake response over time. What Galfer does is we start out with uh, a 64 strand braid stainless steel line, um, has a DuPont Teflon center, 64 strands of stainless steel on the outside to give you the no expansion on the brake line. From there, we take it covered with a, with a plastic coating in one of our 10 colors, one to protect the brake line from the environment, you know, any type of conditions the brake line is going to see, and two to protect the bike from any of the brake line rubbing against it and, and causing any issues there. Brake lines have uh, many different style banjo fittings. We have aluminum banjos, we have uh, stainless steel banjos, and there are plenty of different color choices. So you can, when you order your lines, you can tell us that you want them red, black, blue, gold, any color you want. Um, all our brake line kits also include all the hardware. So when you buy our lines, you'll have bolts, washers, clips, uh, anything that may be needed in order to make that installation nice and clean. We have uh, many different brake line styles, depending on what kind of riding you're gonna be doing with it. If you're just simply needing a better brake line than what your stock is, you would go for the Galfer two-line kit. Two brake lines down from the master cylinder, one to each caliper. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, they're designed so that the areas that we think might touch uh, some parts of the bike that may end up rubbing a little bit, they're well protected. Again, they're made here in the States and they have a lifetime warranty as well. Then we kind of get into uh, the different styles that we have. First one being our super bike brake lines. Um, we recommend this one for track use only. And it, uh, it features uh, a direct thread in on the caliper. So as opposed to using you know, two banjo fittings and the banjo bolt, uh, this brake line style will thread directly into your calipers, giving you a better response and, and a uh, stiffer lever feel, which is something we recommend for the racetrack. Um, and then secondly, we have also our GP style, which is um, it's a three-line setup, a single line from the master cylinder that tees off to each caliper. Um, it features aluminum banjos for weight reduction. Um, the brake line will also wrap around the front of the forks for that GP style look that a lot of people are looking for. We follow a very precise process in order to make brake lines. We bring all of the motorcycles needed in order to build the brake line. So we bring the bikes in here, we measure everything, we have pictures of the stock brake lines as they are sitting on the bike. We have instructions for all of the brake line kits for every single one of the models that we sell. So basically, when we design a brake line, we're truly designing it for that specific bike. And on that application, we will know everything that there is to know about it. Every brake line is labeled so that you know, you know, master cylinder or caliper right and left side. It makes it a lot easier for you during the install. That's the label that Aaron's talking about. So we'll actually let you know if this is the master cylinder hose, it'll say master cylinder on it. If this is um, the right or the left side of the master cylinder, same story. You like to and you'll also see that uh, brake lines also include heat shrink on areas that we know are going to be rubbing on either the fork leg or bodywork, so that uh, one, it protects the bike and the brake line itself. We insist all the time in explaining to our customers that our brake lines are pre-positioned. What does that mean? What we mean is that the banjos are already pre-aligned for your application. You do not have to be switching and moving or putting anything through it and position them the right. We've done our homework. It is part of our R&D. It's to make sure that what you get is exactly what you need to install your lines. Um, DOT brake lines, just the exact same brake line as a regular Galfer brake line, stainless steel banjos, bolts, and everything else. The only thing that changes between a DOT hose and a non-DOT hose is that the DOT brake line has a little rubber boot at the end that uh, produces or makes the banjo and the cable move in a different way than in a regular steel brake line. Uh, there is no performance advantage from a DOT or a non-DOT hose. 
Some countries, like for example in Australia or in Europe, all over Europe, all our brake lines, we sell them DOT. Here in the States, we give everyone a choice. Um, the reality is, like I said, there is no difference between DOT or non-DOT. Say you do get a Galfer brake line kit and you, you have some questions on uh, you know, installation or you think that maybe um, you know, the kit just isn't working right for you. You're able to call Galfer directly. We have an in-house brake line tech who can answer all your questions regarding you know, a brake line kit that you're looking to purchase or that you have already purchased. Um, if you have questions on installation or how to bleed it, uh, he will be able to answer all those questions for you. An additional benefit of having in-house brake line tech is that uh, if you have a custom application that you need a brake line for, he can walk you through the different things that you're going to need in order to get that brake line. So if you have a bike that nobody's ever heard of um, and we don't have a brake line kit for it already made, that's still something that we can do for you in order to, to get that set up. We have pictures and an array of information for your application that it's second to none. So if you're telling us, well, my master cylinder, it's this, we can actually see what you're seeing. And in often, in some cases, we've been able to realize that in fact, someone who was calling, their master cylinder was not the OEM master cylinder. So we warned them or we told them. Off-road brake lines, made just like every other one of our brake lines, with the label, the stainless steel fittings, and a stiffener section. The stiffener section is what you find on your stock brake lines for off-road. It's a plastic section that allows the brake line not to bow on a certain area so it doesn't hit the front wheel, for example. Let me remind you that all Galfer brake lines are DOT approved if you want them DOT and they have a lifetime warranty. Um, that yeah. means anything that happens to the hose. And again, we have applications for just about everything, whether you ride a street bike or cruiser, uh, you do a little stuff in the dirt, ATV or off-road, we've got an application for you.